what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog as you can see we're with godzilla my absolute beast of a 2013 gtr completely standard of course but it does need a service and today is that day so we're taking it to mecca for all gtr owners it's called litchfield it's in england in gloucester it's over two hours away so we've got a lot of petrol to burn to get there but it's for a premium service with the guys there who are all experts at tuning and maintaining GTRs. I'm gonna have the weird noise that my rear differential is making looked at. I'm gonna have my diff, transmission, and engine oil flushed, and it should be a good day overall. The car's not super clean, but it's uh, certainly not in, uh, not in bad nick at the moment. And I've got a few other updates about the car to share with you as well, so it should be an exciting mor morning. But without further ado, let's, uh, let's crack on, because we've got a lot of driving to do and get petrol. goal is to get there on that 75 pounds worth of petrol which is an entire tank fingers crossed we'll make it and that is the tank brimmed from about 10 percent to 100 percent it's about 75 pounds in england and that's probably how much it's going to cost i'm going to try and get there and back on one tank that is the goal and i'm pretty much all that i can afford to do in my budget but let's see if we can get there and back i know a lot of you americans out there are like what the hell with that price of fuel well that is just how expensive fuel is in england i know it's extortionate but that is just the way of the world and in addition to that um it's rush hour traffic because we're arriving at 10 a.m. and it's just over a two hour drive. So hopefully if Google Maps is correct, calculating the traffic will arrive three minutes before my service. And that is that is good. That is the goal. When we get there, we're actually meeting my mate Liam for a um, just to watch the cargo service release. It should be quite exciting. He was the one that you guys remember I took drag racing and has actually driven this car before and absolutely loves it. We have arrived at Litchfields. I'm incredibly happy. I've handed my keys over and soon they'll be taking my baby in to have it service done. 72 month jobby, which is engine oil, transmission oil and differential fluid. Uh, and obviously all the filters and everything changed as well. Um, I've got, I'm having it street optimized so the tires last a bit longer because I don't actually track the car. It is my daily car to be honest. So the tires lasting longer would be absolutely fantastic for me. And someone who's my, my grade of driver, AKA definitely an amateur and not a professional racing driver at all. Um, I'm not, probably not even gonna notice whether the tires are set up for street or track to be honest i'll be giving a very difficult task of not getting the number plates of any of the cars here in the shot obviously these are customer cars and for confidentiality reasons they might not want their cars actually in the video without permission and obviously all the owners of these gtrs aren't here uh let me count how many gtrs are here there's something ridiculous so one 25 cars 25 gtrs in the car park and obviously more being serviced we are going to have a little walk around the uh the um actual shop in a sec so whether we're uh, uh, managing all the cars but the problem is we want to keep all the dirty areas out of view because i'm sure you guys are aware it's, it's a workshop they're taking cars apart they're getting beaten up and uh, i mean it's it's, it's going to be dirty there's going to be oil everywhere and that's just the nature of the business so you don't expect it to be clean it is a workshop <laughs> We've got another poor guy who's had the hood rams go off. I'm trying to keep all the uh, PI out of the shop, but yeah, obviously, this seems to be quite a common problem on European cars when they crash them and their hood pistons break off. Guys, will remember Liam because he actually is one of the only people I know that's driven my car as well as me. And it was really weird seeing it just get pulled into the shop then. But this is his uh, Miata. Call it Miata. Miata MX5. MX5. In, in um, I've got to try and keep everyone's plates out of the shop still though. But there's so much cool stuff here. There's even a Nismo and there's loads of 2017s. And I can't believe how much more aggressive the uh, the spoilers and stuff are on the 2017s. So much nicer. You got to get, got to get shots of Liam just hiding, hiding the plates. There we go. Like that. There you go. We're allowed to get shots like that. So Liam's gonna have to cover all the cars up. <laughs> 
I didn't actually realise the wings on the Nismos are quite so big, but that is absolutely ridiculous. And that is such a nice finish on as well, that satin grey. Absolutely lovely. The, the camera's just not going to do it justice, but it is gorgeous. Yeah, this guy's really flared the angle of those exhaust tips. I'm not sure why it looks a bit horrible, I think. <laughs> Definitely won't do that. Watching in the States will think, oh yeah, it's just another Hellcat, because they're everywhere out there. But over here, they're super rare and you have to import them. Uh, this one's a gorgeous example. Apparently it has competed in a race before, but it looks factory fresh. Obviously it's just been cleaned anyway, but uh, absolutely ridiculous. Over here, for reference, rear wheel drive, 707 horsepower at the crank. Close to that of the wheels, actually. It doesn't lose too much due to a supercharged V8 Hemi in the front, which is just ridiculous. And an automatic transmission. And to be honest, for an American whip, not a bad interior either. It's actually just a really nice bit of kit and I'm really impressed with it. Absolutely love it. They're still running California plates, but oh, I just can't quite show you them. Sorry. It is just crazy seeing all these GTRs in one place. Me and Liam are absolutely fangirling over all of them. And it's crazy watching everything get done. So obviously it's the day after Bank Holiday Monday. So uh, everyone's back at work and there's be engines being rebuilt. There's some crazy cars in there. There's a 458, uh, a Focus RS, a load of other GTRs, of course. And this is the Litchfield break room. So in here, they have a display of some of the stuff they can offer, like their aftermarket dampers and suspension, um, aftermarket wheels by OZ Racing, Dimag, other stuff like that. They've got a really cool chart on the wall of um, all the cars like throughout the years. I think they're the Nissans, pretty much from 2012 through 1957, which is quite cool. She's got all like, the R34 GTRs and stuff on there as well. And this is the clean room where they hand build all of the tight, uh, tight engine parts. So this is really cool to see as well because you've just got a glass sort of, um, a glass sort of window. So you can actually watch them build all the engines by hand, which is sick. And of course, the mandatory broken piston, which I love every time I come in here, because it is just fucking massive. Look at the size of that thing. It's like a good five kilos as well. And imagining that going up and down at, 7,000 revs, it just, it just shows the amount of force that's being used to drive those cars, because it is just ridiculous. Especially when you go sort of the alpha builds and you're pushing sort of 9,000 revs and pistons this big, those poor, poor crankshafts. In my infinite wisdom, I forgot to charge my camera last night, so we are dead. I think I've got enough pretty shots uh, to not really worry too much and hopefully get enough stuff on my uh, on my uh, phone, but it is only an iPhone SE because my other phone's broken and currently getting repaired, so apologies for the quality of the rest of the video, including the tour of the workshop. Um, we actually had a few things advised for the car. Nothing too major. We're getting the taken off at the moment. You can see my lovely cracked brake rotors there. So next service, we recommend getting a new set of brakes. That's 2,000 pounds. Quite expensive, but reasonable, because I would quite like the car to stop. Um, other than that, we have a slight bit of rust buildup on the tray on the underside of the transmission. So that'll be around 500 pounds, including labor, to have that replaced next uh, time I need to service. But at the moment, it's all okay. We can't let that go too bad, because I'll have the transmission oil to rip out of the car, and uh, it'll be fun. Uh, other than that, we've got the dip oil replaced. We've had all of the screws replaced with new stainless steel ones and the bolts, so that makes it look nicer. And it does smell really good in here, gotta say. But to be honest, it's actually not too bad to maintain this car as long as you do it progressively and you keep on top of everything and replace things that you need replaced as they need replacing. So we've also just done a clutch relearn using a dongle that connects to your phone, which is quite cool. So that means hopefully my clutch will be a little bit smoother as I haven't had that optimized in a while. And the only thing left after doing the brake, transmission, both differentials and the engine oil, uh, all, the, all the fluids really, and uh, filters, particular filters, um, is to have it optimized for road use instead of track use. So hopefully the tires will last a bit longer. And I highly doubt someone with my driving skill will even notice whether it's optimized for road or, uh, or track, but um, it will mean that my uh, tracking should be a little bit more straight. It's, it's pulling a tiny, tiny bit to the left at the moment, but uh, all in all, it should be absolutely fantastic. And uh, we've also replaced a few of the bolts under the car with uh, new stainless steel ones, which wasn't uh, obviously particularly expensive, but uh, a good addition to do to get rid of some of the rusty bits and make sure it is all held together properly. So 
So now all the fluids have been changed. We just have to do the alignment. So this will be for the toe in, toe out and camber on the wheels. Now, instead of having it track spec, which is how the GTRs come from factory, I've requested it's done to street spec, just to try and make the tires last a bit longer. But um, so it's slightly less aggressive camber and the inside of the tire doesn't wear out. But um, yeah, I shouldn't notice any difference in the driving experience and uh, hopefully it will drive a little bit nicer and keep a little bit more true when driving in a straight line. I honestly can't thank the guys at Litchfield enough for how friendly they've been. It's been absolutely fantastic. They've been talking to me loads about the car. They're really in detail with me, showing me the undertray of the car, showing me the stuff that needs doing. And it's just been absolutely brilliant. I'm really surprised at how hands-on they were with me as an individual customer, just for a service. And uh, it's actually been brilliant. They offered me a loaner car. Obviously, I didn't need one because I'm quite away from home anyway. And uh, it's just brilliant how, uh, how honest they are and how open they are and how they tell you this could do with doing but doesn't need doing now maybe think of it for next service and you know it's very it's very good that they're so hands-on and uh, friendly with their customers i'm very impressed and it's been absolutely fantastic one thing I couldn't show you guys was the fact that they've got a storage lot, which they wouldn't let me film in, but there are some really cool cars in there. I'm not going to mention what they are, but rest assured, the cars I've seen today are stuff that I was not expecting to see at Litchfields, because you think of it as just a GTR service centre, but there are some very special and very rare cars over there that are absolutely awesome, and I'm just happy to see them. The Hellcat just really being the tip of the iceberg with some really, really cool stuff uh, hidden around back. But unfortunately, I can't show you guys that, and it's just been, it's just been brilliant watching my car get serviced and uh, learning what needs to be done and learning more about the car than I did previously know. Oh, as you can see by the quality increase, I got home and charged my camera up, but it's been a few days now and I thought I'd tell you the costs of what I had done after it was all sorted out of the reception down there. And you can tell it's been a few days because of how dirty it is because all the trees are shedding by my house, which is always fantastic. But I thought I'd tell you the costs of what I had done and how much nicer the car is to drive on. So what I had done was the under tray bolts and two new mounts, uh, all my fluids, so that's two differential fluids, brake fluid flush, engine oil, uh, oil filter for the engines, the particulate filter, two air, uh, air filters and uh, transmission oil as well so that was all of my fluids and all of my filters effectively as well as an optimization so that would be all of my tracking done on there a Hawkeye tracking system which is incredibly accurate and I've got obviously a sheet to show all my toe in toe out and camber angles uh, to make sure all my tires are lined up nicely and I've had it optimized for street use as well so my tires should last a bit longer even though my cornering speed is probably reduced by a mile an hour or two around corners so down from 92 to 90 around tight corners wow oh no like I'm ever going to push it that hard anyway but um, having all of that done means the total price, including that, so that's value added tax in England or tax for you guys out in the States, uh, the labor, the fluid costs and everything like that. So one guy working on my car for virtually a whole business day, 10.30 till 4.30. So now six hours on my car after he's checked her lunch out. That's a lot of time. Um, this costs 980 pounds. Now you want to adjust that for the price of what that would be in US dollars. It's probably around $1,200 I'd imagine for an annual service with all fluids. Next year should be a little less expensive in terms of fluids and uh, how long it takes, but I have had some stuff highlighted of what I need done. First things first, I need a new oil pan on the transmission as the, these tend to go rusty with the OEM ones. So I need to get a billet oil pan, which would be 500 pounds uh, and my only other expense that they can foresee coming soon would be the uh, discs, the brake discs and the brake pads, because all of them are very worn out. Now this is going to be rather expensive at Litchfield, they charge 2200 for a set, but I'm going to be doing it myself uh, with my friend who's an ex-Mercedes head mechanic, and uh, that should bring the cost of the brakes to around £1,500, £1,500. Oh, which is still extortionate, I'm going to need to get saving, because uh, it will be need doing it at some point in the next six months. but. That's overall what I've had done, and the car drives amazing now it's been optimised. It can say it's completely true when you let go of the wheel, and it just feels much nicer. And they also, they did the clutch relearn as well, the software clutch relearn on the Cobb Reader, and that means my transmission feels a lot smoother. The bites are a lot smoother in both race and comfort mode, and it just feels like the whole thing's been like tightened up almost, is the best way to describe it. And I'm very, very happy with how friendly they were at Litchfields, and a huge thank you to those guys for making the car feel like it was rolled out of the factory again, even though it definitely needs a clean. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've got some big announcements to come, so please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all of my latest uploads. And I'll see you guys very soon with more awesome car content with this beast and all of the car meets and events I'm going to this year. Peace.